Let's talk about friendships, understanding and describing relationships in English. Hello, language learners. Welcome back to our series on describing relationships in English. Today, we are delving into a very special and common type of relationship, friendships. We'll explore the vocabulary used to describe different levels and types of friendships in English. To describe friendships, we need some basic vocabulary. Let's start with friend itself. A friend is a person whom you know, like, and trust. Now, let's add more words to our vocabulary list. Best friend. This is a very special friend who you consider closest to you. You share most things with them and trust them deeply. Close friend. A close friend is someone you are very friendly with and spend a lot of time with. They might not be your best friend, but they are more than just an ordinary friend. Acquaintance. This is someone you know, but not very closely. You might have met them a few times, but do not spend much time with them. Now that we have our basic vocabulary, let's talk about how we can describe the nature of our friendships. Casual friends. These are friends that you don't know very deeply. You might hang out occasionally, but you're not very close. Old friends or long-time friends. These are friends you have known for a very long time. Childhood friends. Friends you have known since you were children. English is full of idiomatic expressions related to friendships. Here are a few examples. Friends for life. This refers to friends who will remain friends forever. Fair weather friends. These are friends who are only with you when things are going well, but disappear when things get tough. To be thick as thieves. If two people are as thick as thieves, they are very close friends and share secrets. So, that's a quick overview of how to talk about friendships in English. Remember, the key is to use the right words and phrases that accurately depict the type and depth of your friendship. It may seem like a lot right now, but with practice, it will become second nature. Keep practicing, and you'll be a pro in no time. As always, thank you for watching and happy learning. Keep practicing, stay curious, and I'll see you in our next video.